Hi, in this video I will show you how to create your own Powerball Smart Quick Pick number picking system. In this Smart Quick Pick number system we will only select those numbers which have previously appeared in Powerball, meaning which appeared as winning numbers in the previous Powerball drawings. So what we do is first we go to uh, go to Google and type in Powerball previous winning numbers and bunch of results appear. All we need is the first result. So this is from the mainlottery.com. Click on this link and it will give you all the winning numbers from Saturday at 12:26 uh, all the way all the way down to 12:28 2009, meaning one year's worth of winning numbers. So we will highlight from the title all the way down and then right click on any of the highlighted values select copy then we open Excel and in Excel we'll paste them exactly the way they are right so we bring them from the website straight to Excel now we don't need the first column which is the date column we really don't care much about that so we can get rid of this we also don't need the power play PP, so we're going to get rid of that too. Now these are just the numbers, so these are five columns as you can see. They go from 1 to 69 and the power ball that goes from 1 to 26. So I'm just going to center these values. We'll give it a title. So this is our smart quick pick system. So in order to create this quick pick system, we need to find out what numbers appear most in column one, what numbers appeared most of the times in column two, what numbers appeared most of the times in column three, like that column four, column five, and the power wall column. So what that will give us is uh, those numbers that have appeared uh, one or more times okay and we will uh, based on that uh, frequency distribution we will create our quick pick, quick pick system so in order to do that we need to do ex we need to use excel's uh, built-in frequency formula so for that excel wants you to create something called a bin uh, frequency bin we'll just call it numbers right numbers and this has to go from one to 69 so you have to manually type first one then two then three then four then highlight all of them click on the fill handle the little teeny tiny square at the bottom right of the selection and drag it down all the way and excel will tell you what numbers are appearing till you reach 69 okay, so this is our frequency bin now what we do is over here we type column one and we can highlight you have to manually highlight this and highlight all the way down till you reach right next to 69 okay scroll back up and type equal frequency this is frequency for analog excel the first Excel wants you to provide the data array. The data array is column number one. Now here, fortunately, we can click on the first cell, then hold on the control key, hold on the shift key at the same time, and at the same time, press the third, which is the downward pointing arrow key. So on your keyboard, on the right side, there are arrow keys. Uh, press the, that will be the third key you're pressing at the same time. So control key down, shift key down, and the downward pointing arrow key down and what that does is that basically selects the whole column without having to manually do it. Now if we hit the F4 it will bring us back up. We don't have to manually go all the way up. So hit F4 on your, key on your keyboard and then type comma. Now it wants to you to specify what is the bins array which is our numbers column here. So you basically click on first value which is 1 hold on the control key, hold on the shift key, press the downward pointing arrow key and in the formula bar close the parentheses. Now very carefully you have to 
hit control shift and enter at the same time okay so this is a special formula so hold on the control key hold on the shift key at the same time then at the same time hit the enter key right so what will happen is now what you have is you have a frequency distribution for column one what that is telling you is that number one has appeared seven times number two has appeared eleven times number three has appeared three times number four has appeared four times like that right so this is literally the frequency distribution of the numbers in column one right so we'll call it column one and now we can do the same for other columns so we go to the next one give it a heading column two right so you have to manually highlight so this part unfortunately has to be done manually you have to drag all the way down right next to number 69 And now you type equal frequency. Again, now the data array is the second column. So click on the first value of column number two, hold control sh shift and the downward arrow key, and hit F4 so that it brings you back up. You don't need F4, but F4 brings you back up, so it's kind of faster. And bins array would be the same in the numbers column. Control shift and downward arrow key. Okay. In the formula bar close the parentheses, I hit control, shift and enter key at the same time. Right? And scroll back up and now it's telling you basically that number one has appeared zero times in column two, number three has appeared four times, number six has appeared two times. So this is the frequency distribution of numbers, these numbers in column two. Right? So we can do the same for column three. So again you have to manually highlight all the way down to 69. equal frequency so this is the third column right here control shift and downward pointing arrow key hit f4 to come back up comma click on number one here control shift downward pointing arrow key close the parentheses control shift and enter keys at the same time so what's that that's telling us in column number three, number one has appeared zero times, okay? However, number 18 has appeared four times, number 17 has appeared four times, right? So frequency distribution numbers in column three. So we create column four. Again, highlight manually. Equal. Frequency data array will be column four this time. Control shift down and pointing arrow key F4 to come back up. Put a comma and bins array. This is numbers column. Control shift down and pointing arrow key. Close the parentheses. Control shift and enter key. And there you go. Right. So this is telling us in column number four. Number 48 has appeared five times. So frequency distribution again. So let's go to column five, highlight equal data is column five this time. F four comma and bin today. So this is telling us in column number five, apparently 65 has appeared six times, and 68 has appeared seven times, 69 has appeared seven times. So these are the frequently appearing numbers in column five. Okay, so we have all the five columns done, and now we have the power wall columns, we'll call this power wall. And same thing, now power wall only grows from one to 26, so we have to be careful that we go from 1 to 26 only and not beyond that so okay so this is up to 26 and we type equal frequency the data is the power column 
control shift on the pointing arrow key hit f4 put a comma and the bins array this time only highlight 1 through 26 don't go all the way down to 69 this time because this is the power ball column and close the parentheses control shift and downward pointing arrow right so this is telling us the frequency distribution of numbers in the power ball column so as you can see four five and s five and six appear six times right as you can see sorry four and five appear six times right whereas 18 has appeared 14 times so in 2020 in the power ball column 18 was a lucky number it appeared 14 times all right so now we have the raw data here in this column and this is all formula based as you can see pretty crazy formulas uh, that it that appear here so first thing we have to do is we have to basically select all of these control shift down with pointing arrow key and we should convert them to numbers we don't need to have no formula base because we can't do much with them so we will copy highlight all the values select all the columns hit control shift down with pointing arrow key and then hit copy and then click on the little arrow below paste and paste right so what that has done is it has changed them into numbers as you can see the formulas are gone no formulas here now one by one this is kind of a laborious part here you have to basically sort these in the largest to smallest so let me just make it centered so what we'll do is we will highlight these two columns numbers and column one highlight the column headings then hit control shift and downward pointing arrow key right then go to data in Excel go to sort and sort by column one not numbers and largest to smallest we want our most frequently appearing numbers at the top and the least appearing numbers at the bottom right so sort by column one largest to smallest hit OK so now what you have is uh, this is telling you number two appeared 11 times in column one number one appeared seven times number seven appeared seven times right so we don't need the frequency distribution all we need is we need the numbers from the column one that appeared most at least one or above so we'll go down all the way down and we will click on the home tab you can cut them so as you can see the numbers uh, all these numbers have never appeared 26 29 30 all these numbers have never appeared right so so we'll come here say right over here and we will just paste it so what this is this is column one in the order of most frequently bidding numbers okay we'll call it now we can remove these two columns so I'm going to highlight the column headers for these two and we will go to clear content and get rid of them now we will we have to recreate the numbers column which is very easily done so one two three four highlight all the values double click just double click on the fill handle don't even have to drag down just double click on the fill handle and it will give you all the numbers down to 69 now we have the same thing again for column two. We need to find out the, our, our winners at the top and who's at the bottom. So we highlight the column headings, hit Control Shift and downward pointing arrow key, go to the data, sort by column two, largest to smallest, hit OK. Right. So this is telling us in column number two, number twelve appeared eight times, number twenty one appeared six times, twenty three appeared five times, like that. So we can just select the numbers that we need which will appear at least once and ignore the others which have never appeared this year so we will assume they're not lucky numbers this year so we'll cut these put them here paste okay call it column two right so we don't need these two ones so we will basically clear contents recreate the numbers column
highlight these two column headings then hit control shift and downward pointing arrow key and go to data go to sort now by column 3 largest to smallest hit ok so this is telling us in column number 3 number 27 appeared 6 times number 36 appeared 6 times number 35 appeared 5 times right? so we'll take our winners from the top here and ignore the numbers that never appeared so come down here and we will go to the home tab hit cut and paste it here this is column 3 or the winners of the column 3 Right, same thing, highlight the column headings, right click, clear contents, and recreate the numbers column. Double click, highlight these two column headings, control shift on the pointing arrow key, go to data, go to sort by column four, largest to smallest here. Okay, right, so this is telling us in column number four number 36 appeared seven times number 40 appeared six times number 59 appeared six times right so we'll take our winners from here ignore the ones that never appeared so up to here right? so that but put it here this is our column four we're heading so again highlight this m and m m and n right click clear contents and recreate the numbers column. One, two, three. Double click on the fill handle. Numbers in column five. Control shift downward pointing arrow key. Data. Sort by column five. Largest to smallest. So this is telling us in column number five, 67 appeared eight times. 62 appeared 7 times, 63 appeared 7 times like that, right? So we will take the winners, which will be at least once, and put them here. That's column 5. Finally, we reach the power wall column. So we remove the entries here. Recreate the numbers column. This will only go from 1 to 26. So we go 1. Have any sequence of numbers? Double click on fill handle and highlight these two. Control shift downward pointing arrow key. Go to data. Go to sort and by PP largest to smallest. Hit OK. So here you can see number 18 has appeared 14 times. Number 24 has appeared 8 times. 4 has appeared 6 times. So we can take the winners. And as it turns out, very few numbers did not appear because there are only 26 values to select from. So 12 and 15 never appeared this year. So we can take these, cut, paste, and this is our power wall column. Now this is your quick pick numbering system. If you want to pick numbers, you should pick those numbers from these columns right now you can play them like this so again I'm gonna pick this and this uh, or you can pick one from here one from here one like this one like this so it's, it's, it's up to you the advantage you have in this particular case is that these numbers have all previously appeared right so none of these numbers never appeared the entire year so based on what has happened throughout up to this point in the year you can say that because these numbers have appeared previously it might increase your chances of winning at least a small prize if not hitting the jackpot right so want to give it a try go ahead and give it a try at least you're not taking a shot in the dark you are basing your quick picks on at least some sort of statistical basis that these numbers have appeared a few times so who knows they might appear again and it might increase our chances of winning the powerball so good luck to all of you